guys, so a few days ago I made a video about my favorite moisturizers for ultra very dry skin and I was asked to do the same thing for oily skin. So these are my favorite moisturizers for very oily skin uh, and several of them are great for acne prone as well as uh, fungal acne prone skin. So I'm going to start from the top. Most of these are pretty affordable and fragrance free. So first up I've got the Hadalabo Perfect Gel. This stuff is just a wonderful gel. I find Typically for oily skin, gel textures are a little bit better than cream textures, which are super occlusive. Uh, let's the oil uh, kind of... Uh, sometimes moisturizers will... Typically, they will allow your skin to produce more oil if it's hydrated. I have not found, from my research, that, that is true for everybody. But there are a lot of people that have found that if you use a good uh, hydrating gel cream... It will actually allow your skin to produce a little bit less more less oil and become less oily over time. Although if you have oily skin, I just want to say I'm jealous because in general, oily skin does age better. It just doesn't wrinkle as much. It's not as dry and you don't get some of the fine lines and wrinkles, things like that. So it is a kind of a good thing. I get it. I have very dry skin, so it's hard to say because I'm sure there are a lot of people with oily skin that say I'd much rather have dry skin. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, what you don't have, you're kind of jealous of. So... Okay, so I had a Labo Perfect Gel. Look at that. It's just a wonderful gel. Uh, lots of good ingredients. Urea, collagen, ceramides in there. Um, so wonderful for oily skin. And for acne-prone skin, there's only one ingredient of note. That is dimethicone, and that is towards the middle bottom of the ingredient list. So pretty friendly for all skin types there. Next up, we've got, this one is also fungal acne safety. I'm from Vitamin Tree Gel, which I love. I typically use this one more in the summer, but... It's just got another wonderful gel texture to it. Um, sea buckthorn, niacinamide, licorice root, chamomile in here. Great for oily, acne-prone skin as well as fungal acne-prone skin. And for the acne-prone skin, only one ingredient of note, and that is carbomer. So, and it's also, uh, if you get on sale, pretty darn affordable. So, really nice ingredient list. Love that one. Okay, next up we've got, this is kind of a minimal ingredient list. Actually, I will say the packaging has changed. It's not as nice as it used to be in this packaging. The Urban Skin Hydro Balance Instant Moisture Infusion, which I loved. The uh, I mean, Although the one thing is it doesn't have many ingredients that are super air sensitive, but you just push it down and some of the stuff comes out. So it's not super, uh, the ingredients aren't super prone to uh, degrading. So we've got Squalane, Peptide, Lushithin, great for oily skin, acne prone skin. Only one ingredient known for acne prone skin and that is Squalane. Some people handle squalane great, some people not so much. I find squalane is iffy for me in certain products, so not all of them, but certain ones. Okay, next up we've got the Bonajure Green Tea Water Bomb. Love this one. I've talked about this one a lot. It's just a wonderful gel texture product. Really good, awesome ingredient list. Really wonderful texture. I love this stuff. It is, I use this all the time in the spring and summer. Got green tea in here, lots of peptides, squalane, amazing ingredient list for soothing uh, and hydrating oily skin, dehydrated skin. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend everyone give it a try or at least try their toner version of it. Okay, next up, a little bit more pricey product. We've got the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it retails around $48. Um, we've got a lot of good ingredients in this one. We've got sorbic acid, peptides, amino acids, ceramides, ferments in there. Great for oily and acne prone skin. Only one ingredient, or we've got a couple ingredients of note for acne prone. We've got vitamin E, carbomer, and C-terylacol. So three ingredients. It does have a pretty long ingredient list full of good things. So, and this one also has a wonderful gel texture. If I can get this jar open. I haven't used this one for a few months since it's been so uh, cold out, but it really does look like the... Uh, the Clinique uh, oil or the Clinique Surge moisturizer in the uh, pink pink bottle. Okay, next up, another one with kind of a minimal ingredient list, the Oh It's So Simple uh, Cream by Crave Beauty. Uh, this one is great. Oat is in there in a couple different forms and then squalane. Very, very minimal ingredient list. Great for oily skin. Friendly for fungal acne prone skin and for the acne prone skin, only one ingredient. Note that is squalane again. So... Uh, pretty good product. I'll have to do a Crave dupes because I know a lot of people these days aren't huge fans of Crave after, oh, they've had a few issues, one of them being the sunscreen and then some other stuff that is a whole video about, but anyway. Okay, next up we've got a relatively new product. That is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Moisturizer. 
Uh, so I will mention this does contain fragrance. It has a plum scent to it. So if you have very sensitive skin, probably not a go. But it is pretty good for oily skin and acne prone skin. Uh, there's no ingredients of no for acne prone skin in here. We've got plum, which is great for brightening the skin. We've got peptide, we've got radish root, and then a little bit of fragrance. But very, very friendly for acne prone skin with zero ingredients to be concerned about. Okay, we've got a few more coming up. Okay, next up we've got the Costabaja MA Peptide Cream. Why is it called MA Peptide Cream? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's Matrixel in here. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, this one, niacinamide. We've got peptides, obviously. We've got argan oil, caffeine, great for oily skin, not as friendly for acne-prone skin, but uh, really wonderful. Uh, kind of a gel creamy texture to it. There we go. So anyway, I'm loving this one. I use this one on my neck. I layer it uh, under the next product I'm going to talk about. So let me get to that one. And that is, this one doesn't get talked about as much as I believe it should. Although it's minimal ingredient list, but we've got the isn't tree. Uh, aloe soothing gel. This is the fresh type. They also have a moist type. What I love about this, I've been using this all like the last seven or eight months on my neck. It is so affordable, first of all. And the second thing is I love using this as an alternative to the uh, gel uh, primer that they recommend using with the new face. I love using this instead of that because it's got the similar texture to it. It allows the electrical current to go through it has ridiculously more affordable, and it has no fragrance, and the bottle's gigantic. I also use it. I just got this little little guy, the uh, Nebulift. I'll do a video about that, but anyway. I also use this as a primer for this instead of the primer that it comes with, because the primer it comes with contains lavender oil, but anyway. So this one is great for that. Fungal acne, safe. Uh, good ingredients, aloe, green tea, centella, panthenol, um, and then for acne-prone skin, only carbomer to be concerned about. Uh... Love this one. Next time I'm going to pick up their moist version of it, which comes in the light green bottle. But this one is getting close to empty. It's five ounces. I've been using this one for months on my neck. And it is because sometimes my neck doesn't tolerate hardly any ingredients. And this one is the one I go to because it's so gentle and soothing and hydrating and calming. And great as an alternative for primers for beauty tools. Although check the warranty and things like that before you do that because I don't know sometimes they say if you don't use it with the product they make they're gonna cancel your warranty so hopefully they don't drag out this video if the nebula lift goes bad in a month or two but anyway I didn't say any of this I don't know what anybody's talking about okay next up another new product the bioma moisturizing gel cream they came out with a rich moisturizer which I picked up which is great for dry skin this one is great for oily skin we've got niacinamide cholesterol ceramide panthenol wonderful for oily skin and uh, pretty darn affordable. So I'm really loving this Bioma brand because it's just so, it's just, they've got so many great fragrance-free products that are all affordable. Although I will say their packaging, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong, but does it kind of seem like they're trying to copy Drunk Elephant a little bit? It kind of seems like it. I could be wrong. I don't know, but it just does to me. But I asked cameraman, Cameron, cameraman, uh, what he thought of it, and he thought, no, oh, it doesn't look like it. So, I don't know. That's just me, but whatever. I mean, you could do any packaging in the world, but it kind of looks like Drunk Elephant. Okay, next up, we've got two more left. Okay, most affordable on the list, the Simple Hydrating Gel Cream, Glycerin, Sodium PCA, Vitamin E, very short ingredient list. Uh, pretty friendly for oily skin, acne-prone skin. We've got two ingredients of no to dimethicone and steric acid. It's a wonderful bottle. I carry this with me when I travel, and I love this one. And then last but not least, this one seems to work well for a lot of people with oily skin. Not everybody, but it does seem to work well for a lot of them. That is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. We've got amino acids in here. We've got urea, vitamin E, very friendly for oily skin. Um, so worth checking out and pretty darn affordable. Now they have a giant size of it too. So um, anyway, so those are my picks for oily skin types. So I'm interested if there's anything I missed from my oily skin friends out there, leave a comment with them. I probably could make this video like five hours long, but uh, I have a feeling most people get bored after like the first five minutes or so, or maybe the first two minutes or man, whatever. Anyway, so leave a comment with your favorites for oily skin and um, that's about it. Leave a comment, leave a comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.